Welcome to In this video, I'm going to explain the three ways to add days to a date in Excel. So this was a great question submitted by Michael, and uh, he basically has a column of dates here in his data set, and he wants to add a day or a number of days to each of these dates. So we're going to take a look at a few different ways to go about this technique. So the first thing we can do is just uh, use a formula to add a day to a date or a number of days to a date. And in Excel, a date is actually just a number, and it's the number of days that have elapsed since January 1st, 1900, and then it's just formatted as a date. So if we were to change the number formatting on this date here, we'll just go to the Home tab, uh, the Number Format dropdown, change this to General, we can see we get this number here, 42,373. That's just the number of days that have elapsed since January 1st, 1900. And then Excel just uh, uses this uh, to store the date value, and we actually just apply formatting to view it as a date. So, and I have a whole other video that explains the calendar date system in Excel in a lot more detail, and I'll put a link to that below this video. But what that means is that we can just add numbers to this date. So in cell B2 here, we can just type a very simple formula, reference cell A2, and then just do a plus one if we wanted to add one day, and hit enter, and that will add one day to this date. And then of course we could just copy this down, we can just double click the fill handle to copy this uh, formula down. And then if we wanted to replace our original dates with this new date, we could do a copy, just right click or control C copy, and then paste values right here. So we'll just paste the values right there, and then we can see those new values have been pasted over the old values. So that's one way to go about it using a formula. And again, that formula could be any number of days. So we just added a day. We could uh, also subtract a day with a minus one there, and that would subtract one day from this date. Or if we wanted to add an entire week, we could do something like plus seven uh, to add a week to that date. So a lot of options there, and it's really just simple addition or subtraction. So the next technique is using the paste special method and this will allow us to actually add days or subtract days from the existing days or dates in these cells right here. So to use this method, I'm first going to insert the number of days that I want to add. In this case, I'll just put a 1 here in any blank cell. So in cell C2, I'm going to enter a 1. And then we're going to copy this cell, so control C or right click copy. And then we'll select the dates here in this column and then right click paste special right here right click paste special and now we'll open up the paste special menu and on the paste special menu here we have this operation section that will allow us to add subtract or even multiply or divide uh, the ex these selected values by the number that we have copied or by the value that we have copied so we currently have one copy to the clipboard so we can add that number to all of these existing values here uh, when we do the paste. So we're going to select Add. Now the other thing we want to do here is choose values from the paste type uh, because we just want to paste the values. If we don't choose that, then this will also paste the number formatting of cell C2 onto uh, column A here and that number formatting is general, so it would basically just mess up our date format. So that's why we'll choose values there, add operation, and then click OK. And we can see that that's added uh, one day to each of these dates. So that's a great way to do that, uh, because you don't have to uh, create a formula in a separate column and do that copy and paste values. You can just do it very quickly with this paste special method. And then of course, if you wanted to subtract, you can just right click, paste special, keyboard shortcut is Alt ES. And uh, then here, instead of add, we could choose values again, and subtract for the operation. And again, this could be any number of days here, so it doesn't have to be one, it could be seven, or whatever number of days you wanna add or subtract. 
just put that in there, copy it to the clipboard, and then do this paste special here, and that would subtract one from each of these dates. Now, it's important to note that this is actually modifying the value in the cell. So as we can see here, there's no formula. If we look here in the cell, uh, or even up here in the formula bar, there's no formula here. We've just added or subtracted that number from the value in the cell, and the paste special operation does that. If, however, there was a formula in the cell, in fact, in, in column B here, we'll just do a quick formula. We'll do an end of month function here to return the last day of the month uh, for this particular uh, this particular date. So here we have the end of the month. This is the end of the month function. And copy that down. So now we have uh, basically it's a formula here that's uh, calculating that date in this cell. And if we're to do the same thing, so we'll go here, we'll just copy this cell and then select all of these cells here. And we'll do that same paste special. And we'll choose uh, values and the add and then click OK. What's happened here is that the uh, formula has actually been modified to have a plus one added to it. So whatever the number is that you've copied, uh, the formula will actually be modified to have a plus one or a minus one if you do subtract, or however many days you have there will be added to the end of that formula. We can also see that parentheses have been put around that existing formula right here, and then we just have the plus one at the end. So the paste special operation is smart enough to detect that if you have a formula, an existing formula there, and then it will just modify that formula. If you don't have a formula and you just have values in the cells, then it will modify the values in those cells. And just like everything with Excel, there are a lot of different ways to solve this problem. So please leave a comment below with a suggestion you have on how to add a day to a date. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.